The Pokemon Scarlet and Violet TCG era begins today, and that is because we are opening up one of these. It is a Scarlet and Violet base set booster box. Before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like if you do enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Super excited to see the dawn of another era in Pokemon, and uh, obviously Scarlet and Violet is at least this set in particular, is going to be a great way to get this era started. So you can see the kind of box art here, talking about beginning a new adventure with Pokemon EX. If you didn't know, uh, EX cards are back, which is, again, another thing to be excited about. You've got the starters, you've got the Gyarados EX here, and generally a nice, cool, interesting box art for this one here. But I'm not going to waste any more time, and I'm going to start just getting this thing open. Uh, we've got this entire box to open, which is going to be fantastic. So that's going to be 36 uh, booster packs. And um, another thing to note is the retail price, at least, um, of this box has gone up kind of like the recommended sale price. So what Pokemon have done is kind of increased that uh, booster pack retail um, from what was like $4 to like $4.50. So these things are a little bit more expensive and cost me a little bit more than what my booster boxes were costing me before. Um, Sword and Shield, for example. But... But apparently these boxes are actually super, super juiced. So I'm really, really excited to find out if that is the case. We've got all of our 36 packs here. So I'm going to take out one side quickly. Check out the arts as well. We've got this Gyarados EX again would be awesome. The terrestrialized Gyarados. Starters, of course, as well. And Maraidon and Crydon. That was kind of nice. The four certainly laid out already which is kind of cool what i'm going to do is quickly shuffle these uh not too intensely of course just want to maybe mix them up a bit and see see well certainly not going to make a difference we'll open up the whole thing but uh maybe add a bit more excitement in here so i want to let's just stick this there let's stick this um, i don't know why i've done that but um, also got my top loaders and my sleeves as well so we are definitely definitely ready to go so first pack of Scarlet and Violet and what kind of cards are we looking to get of course I've already spoken a couple of times about the Gyarados EX we've also got the Arcanine EX um, as well in this set uh, what else do we want we want the, the there's the um, the special uh, art the Gardevoir EX basically all of the X's would be fantastic so I think we're going four from the back so Get that here um and i'm gonna wait a second to flip this over uh the maridon and Crydon, of course the miriam fallout would be fantastic the special art of that or even the regular fallout would be fantastic a lot of amazing amazing pulls in this set so as i said this is gonna be an absolute banger to get us started off with scarlet and violet and the reason why i waited to flip it over of course was i wanted to kind of show off a little bit of this okay so i think it was five uh oh god let's put these at the front we can figure it out we can figure it out i've not seen any openings of this yet so that's that's why i have no idea but what do we see here we see this very very different looking card we've got this gray border now so again for those who don't know before scarlet and violet the english tcg release had yellow borders for their cards um, but this is one of the major changes we're seeing where we're following more of the kind of japanese style of release and kind of uh, hollow patterns all that kind of stuff as well so gray borders and i said from the beginning um i do like those gray borders uh, more so than yellow ones so for me it's certainly a positive thing so i'm just gonna kind of uh as i said kind of get straight into it so we've got wiglet there we've got penny as uh, a trainer who i believe has a full art too the nice medicham we've got a quaxwell so that's the second uh, stage starter the stage one starter it says there and that's 53 of 198 We've got the reverse hollow, so that's four, five. That's the reverse hollow for the baby. So what I'm going to do is mashif, mashif. I haven't, I still haven't played the games yet, by the way. So I'm going to butcher a lot of names, um, and people are going to get. Well, I'm sure you'll get annoyed with me, but you're going to have to put up with it. Uh, Grievard. Uh, I open up the Mimikyu EX box. So I've got one of those already with the hollow border. We've got basic energy. Oh god, we uh, didn't mean to do that. Reverse hollow purple, the primate. So that's the those are the two reverse hollows. I uh, didn't give too much away. 
So another change that's been made is you are basically guaranteed more pulls per pack. You get at least a hollow and a reverse hollow in each pack, which means what you really want to do is, uh, well, just open the product. Obviously, we didn't get anything in this first pack, but I'm going to kind of quickly construct this pack. I wasn't paying enough attention to know how many to take. I believe it will be six, though, right? Uh, seven, even, and then, yeah, seven. Seven from the back, just to be ready for the next pack. So apologies for the lack of professionalism there. Uh, but, you know, I'm figuring things out just as much as you are. So again, on to the next pack. Nothing from the first. Bit disappointing, but plenty of opportunities to get. Three, four, five, six, seven. Probably better off just taking taking four from the front. Uh, okay, so we're starting with a youngster here. Oh, a nice blissy there too. What Jack? Reverse hollow caps kid. I've done this wrong, haven't I? A Varum, that's kind of cool. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Don Dozo, I've seen that before. Don Dozo is pretty cool. It has a really nice special art rare in this set. Uh, basic energy, Hound Door, uh, Magikarp though. The, we've all seen the triple beat Magikarp, I, I assume. Um, what am I doing here? Why am I struggling so much? Uh, put that to one side. Nothing again apart from the hollow. So what was the case previously was, of course, that you would get at least... Well, you wouldn't be guaranteed a hollow, basically, uh, in, in any packs previously. However, that, of course, has now changed. Um, being that you are guaranteed a hollow, basically, in... So, um, the hollows basically become the non-hollows, right? Just in that, you know, they become pretty much useless. And, and it was good that we needed to... That's a really nice ten, ten, oh, Toad School. Toad, toad, toad School. Toad School. Uh, that's not even Toad School. Um, interesting. Sandal. Um, but yeah, as I, as I was saying, the Fido, Fido, I've seen this as well, has a nice special art too, so it'd be nice to get one of those. Cyclizar, you're a bike, uh, and Toad Scroll. So that Toad Scroll heard what I was saying about the Toad Scroll. Uh, Mousehold, Mousehold. It's a mouse and a household of mouse. Nice. Uh, Squawker Billy, that's kind of cool actually, I do like that. It's, uh, what's that bloody pelican one called? Starly, the kind of play Starly, which I'm not a fan of, and the Indeedy Hollow. How's this looking here? Yeah. Okay, on the print, a little bit shoddy in the corner there, but let's hope the Ultra Rares are a bit better. Three packs in, and, uh, yeah, nothing so far, but as I was saying, yeah, Pokemon really needed to do something about, about the, uh, the how poor kind of uh, getting a hollow was like it was basically meaningless getting a hollow um uh, non hollow hollow is that kind of thing as well and uh, you know there's plenty of packs that you open where you don't really get anything and you're like hey um do something about that and obviously pokemon uh, i've now changed it so you do get at least a hollow in every pack so floragato as well i think that's the middle stage of the starter yep brigatito uh, Zangoose, the nice Zangoose there. Don Jonah, do not like that art at all. Rotoms are always nice. Uh, electric Generator, do we get a hit? Not a proper one, we get another Hollows, so that's four Hollows so far. Uh, but we have a King Gambit, which evolves from Bishop. Didn't know that. Is this a uh, Scarlet Violet one? It looks kind of bloody hell. Look at that, sword. it's like a sword on its, on its head. I know Bishop has a weird helmet head thing as well that's kind of mad um sorry that's one side um but yeah at least now you basically you know you pick up random booster box and and it gives the pokemon i guess an excuse to justify them increasing their prices too although given being a lot of discussion about you know we then putting up the prices and everyone's like oh well you know it's inflationary and all that kind of stuff but they haven't put their prices up in a long time um, but then you also just don't get as many hits as you used to as well. 
Like for example, you open up a base set box and you would get 12. Katie must have a full art, I imagine. Our Raptor would be nice to have an alt art of that. Reverse Hollow Cacton. A Clauncher. Kind of nice, kind of cute. And an Annihilate. I think Annihilate is a wicked, wicked Pokemon. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Ready to murder you in your sleep. Uh, and Primeape sucks, so it's nice to have uh, kind of changed to that. Needed one of those for a while, that's for sure. Let's see. On to the next pack. Oh god. Oh, again. Figured it out, guys. Basic energy, Toxel, Routes, you Growlithe. Hoping for an Arcanine. Maybe that's a sign that we're getting an Arcanine. Shop it. Zangus. Youngster. Laffy there, chilling in the, the clouds. Kind of cute, isn't it? Clouds in the background, and then Laffy's cloudy. Fluffy uh, neck. The reverse hollow. Look at the reverse hollows, right? So we've got, well, obviously, what it was before. I don't have an example. Would it be nice if I, if I did just have a reverse hollow? On hand? No, I don't. Um, but Sword and Shield Reverse Hollows, even Sun and Moon Reverse Hollows are terrible. I really, really, really like uh, Gen 4, um, Diamond and Pearl Reverse Hollows, and of course, who doesn't like E series Reverse Hollows, right? Um, and the stamp ones, of course. Amazing, amazing. But this is definitely better than what we were getting with Sword and Shield and uh, Sun and Moon. A little bit more of a pattern, but it's kind of a similar vibe still. Not similar to the uh, older ones, as I mentioned, Diamond and Pearl and uh, E-Series, where I think uh, Reverse Hollows were just, are just insane, amazing. I think they're so underrated. I just don't think enough people collect them, especially like the stamped ones from those EX era sets. Like some of the stamps as well are really, really nice. Um, and I just don't think they are appreciated as much. Could be so we've got another Mashif, Horniard, Wiglet. Old school electric generator. So we're seeing a lot of dupes already. We've got another wog, or well not another. This is the new one. This is the wog trio. I'm not sure what on earth is going on there with the uh, the wog trio and the wiggler and why this is red. Um, but I'm not even gonna add it to be honest. Judge the Tarantula, Tarantula, the big bowl of silk, big bowl of silk. Um, that sucks. Ooh, we got a reverse hollow for a Coco. So uh, either this or Quaxi is the best starter, right? Um, uh, but this one's pretty awesome. You got obviously all the fire reverse pattern as well, which is kind of nice. And do we get a hit this time? We don't. We've got a Arbor Lever. So we are getting absolutely nothing so far. Apparently these boxes are cracked. Uh, certainly what I'm hearing and what everyone is saying but doesn't seem to be the case so far for me and get rid of the code card uh see so yeah, i guess it'll be a positive thing if the boxes are crazy it just means the prices for the singles will be pretty good and then again just opening up the boxes is really fun i mean handy mouse handy mouse uh the small olive or olive Are you a fan of olives people like olives i'm like so indifferent to them it just literally just depends what kind of mood I'm in. Primeape, and I never say that. I'm not a very emotional person. Uh, poor me. Poor me. Um, Blissy, what was I saying? I was definitely saying something. Um, oh god, I've forgotten now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the singles hopefully should be pretty, pretty well priced if, the, you know, lots getting open. And, uh, well, Reverse Hollow um, Low Mamola. I kind of ignored that for a minute. Uh, Nimona, she is the rival, right, in the new game. And we got Armor Rouge. Still absolutely nothing uh, in regards to full arts and ultra rares and all that jazz. Um, but then also it's the experience as well. The experience is going to be much better. I mean, of the kind of Sword and Shield sets, the only good ones that, are, in terms of like experience and opening, I'm not saying it's the only good sets, there's plenty of good sets. I actually made a video on uh, ranking the uh, Sword and Shield sets, and you should definitely go check that out. But the best thing, um, about, about, or the best sets to open were certainly things like Crown Zenith, um, really, really enjoyed Shining Fates. What else? Uh, Champions, terrible. 
Uh, but it's the special sets, right? It's the special sets are that are the most fun uh, to open generally. You're getting a lot of hits. You've got the reverse hollows. And obviously, they did the thing with the... Uh, it's a nice Lucario. Uh, they did the Killer Wattrell. Uh, that's a cool Pokemon, I'm not going to lie. Uh, with the electric stuff. And we've got the reverse hollow roll. So no one cares about that. Uh, blood, yeah, we're really not getting anything yet. We've opened like nine packs. And... Um, But I really keep losing my train of thought as well, which is which is really annoying uh, because I do have they that is probably that usual. Is it? it's a tarantula? Isn't that the same one but with a different art? Not evolved, is it? It's, it's basic still. New art, which is interesting. That's another Riolu actually too. Magneton, Clawitza, Boragato, XP share. On Journa, Reverse Hollow Toxel, Reverse Hollow Defiance Band. Just gonna, oh, we got a Great Tusk EX. First hit is the Great Tusk, the old ass Don fan. Um, that's kind of cool. The EX cards are really dark though. They're like really pale. Not pale, but dark. They don't pop in the same way that. Uh, like a V Max or something, or the V's do with a kind of very shiny. These are like dull grey borders. If you haven't seen them, I'm going to pop this there anyway because at least it's a hit. Shouldn't really complain. Uh, that's the one thing about the era so far. I'm just I'm not a big fan of is the the way that the EX cards are just just basically dull. That's the problem, right? Um, they're just really dull. Uh, it's like a really, really dark grey, and then we've got really like a nicer grey. You know, if they just made this holographic and shiny, the grey border on the rest of the cards, um, that would be it. Flittle. What on earth is that? It looks like a like an omelette. Like it's wearing an omelette, and I don't know what the pink is. I don't know what it is. Freaking terrible though. Uh, we've got Surviper, the rock chest plate. The hell is this too? Shouldn't ask questions. The Titan or Katitan? I imagine it's gonna be a turtle. Turtle? It's a turtle? Katitan? Katitan? Uh, it's like a poor man's Avalog. Bloody hell! Two hundred damage though. And three energies. Uh, Falafi. Sharkadet. Sharkadet. And a nice reverse hollow corneard. Oh, and we've got our first like proper full art, and it is an Arvin full art trainer 235, uh, 198. So, how does this look? Uh, dodgy corner there. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, the corners are a little bit dodgy, not gonna lie, but still, we've got our first proper hit. Um, sorry, great task, but kind of suck. You're just an EX. Although, I definitely would take the altar, that's for sure. That altar is pretty sick. Pretty sick. You need, really need to get through this a bit faster. I really am slow with opening up the cards. So I'm going to really try to get through it a little bit quicker than I am right now. Water Energy, Rotom, Palpad, Bebe, Toxel. Flame. We've seen all of these guys before. Fine Band, Giri, Pormo, Alpad, and the Professor Research. What's this? Probably number 12, I think. 13. Front. Fire Energy, Weasel, Energy Retrieval, Lechonk. Fat boy, chunk the chunky boy, low poke, sandaconda, eighty staraptor, first hollow, rack rack, a floet and a cloth. Is this? Nah, this is nothing to do with uh, Krabby, right? Like a Krabby who's forgotten to shave. Next one. I mean, th to be honest, like these hollows pop way more than the EXs, and that's what—that's actually what I'm like. Why? Why have you done that? 
why have they done that instead of just making EX pop hollow does so we've got a psychic energy uh, a water that was similar to the bird thing from before crow gunk Dene, electric ooh, electric generator another wog trio judge hypno up it that's kind of cool the art and a reverie literally not doing anything with those hollows throwing them to one side that use the front come on let's get another special here that was just fight fighting energy growlith uh, another one of those hits handy mouse nest ball visu picnic basket Bishop for me. Ooh, an Onclo. Oh, God's sake, Onclo. 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 That takes me so long. Onclo. Was it like some smelly pig? That. I mean, it pops like this, but like when you actually look at it, it's so dull. Getting a decent amount of light. That's like. I'm not a big fan of pigs. Stink. And they eat their own poo. Not a big fan of that, so that's probably why I'm not a big fan of pigs. Although, surprisingly, people seem to love them, especially the little, like, teacup ones. But I ain't about that life. Earlier, witch, Coco, Tropius. Nice, look at that. A little water coming down too and bathing. Float soul. Ooh, Miriam. Nice getting you as a full art, hopefully, please. Fario. Eerie. Houndoom. And as Lizard. Lizard. Alright, so clearly shuffling did nothing because they were all hollows anyway. Um although three hits we've got three hits so far it's pretty poor i'm hoping everything all the good packs are on the other side of course front also got a massive pile of cards just gonna keep throwing them into the corner too is not making my desk look too nice poor me Rantula. bombardier bombardier so that's kind of cool uh, bombardier if no each call. I wish I was there right now. And uh, where we just Oh the secret rare is a nest ball. It's in the reverse. Okay. We do get a hollow still, and then we get this secret rare nest ball. Nest balls are uh, for some reason they they're always like expensive, and I imagine that's just because of the TCG usage. Like actually playing the game, not what we, not what I do, uh, which is obviously not playing the game. Uh, but this hollow pattern, honestly, is so much better than kind of normal gold hollow pattern. Do I have a gold card to hand? Do I? I don't have one. I don't have one. Um, but if you do have one, you can see. Look at the lines and stuff here. Certainly, I imagine this is exactly kind of the hollow pattern. That Japanese card has. Shame we do not have the print quality that the Japanese card. Still, secret rare. I mean, if we're going to get a gold card, I would have hoped it would have been one of the legendaries, but they should probably not complain. Let's get this final final box of this half open. Really need to speed through this. Front. Psychic Energy, Pokeball, Rotom, Palpad, the Bebe. If you can really see in the corner there, that pile of cards is starting to come into shot. Uh, Titan, Team Star, Grunt, Growlithe, Reverse Hollow. Ooh, Clove. That's really nice. One of the Art Res, ARs uh, in Japanese, the uh, Krabby's Cousin, and then we've got Data. Gallodurge, 
All I know is this thing is mad, mad overpowered. I watched a few like random Nuzlocks and stuff and they can sweep the whole game basically just by picking that as your starter. And I, th I don't know what move it has, some like scorched earth move or something. Apparently that's just enough to destroy everything. Well, I don't know, Pokemon I guess just gets easier every year. Bloom, Sprigatito, Flittle. Um, for those who have played the game, however, you know, how's it how's it go basically? I'm certainly interested in playing it. It's just a different art for this one. Nice. I think I prefer this one. And the Coridon. Um yeah, I, I certainly want to play the game at some point. It's just I, I didn't get it immediately because it was just apparently really, really glitchy, right? Um, but I imagine maybe some of that's been fixed now and it's probably worth picking up the game because I do really want to play it still as you've seen here I don't know too many of the Pokemon I tried to avoid spoilers for that list as well but that's really impossible when you uh when you're on uh, in Pokemon Instagram at least all the time got Skvovit, Charcadet, Junk, any Medicham with the little you love the yoga pose thing. Maxwell. Hair looking kind of like mine. Wish I had that much hair though. Ooh, the slowpoke. This is definitely one of the ones I wanted. This one is wicked. The kind of cobbled street. Very I don't I don't know like where, but like kind of very homely. Not homely. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's like a kind of warm feeling, right? This is awesome. No kind of actual text. Just hollow and the slow bro hollow. Another nice hit. So we're really starting to pick up. So pretty much it must just be everything was on this side. And if I shuffled them between the sides, this probably would have been a bit more optimistic from the beginning. Still no like banger banger hit yet. So still hoping for something like that. Basic energy, Surviper, Hound Door. Al, Magikar, Mark, Greedent, loving the love for Greedent, which is nice. Big fan of Greedent. Uh, Miraidon, Reverse Hollow, Dolive, and a Houndstone. Again, that pile of cards is certainly starting to creep <laughs> into shot. Like every time I'm throwing cards, I'm like pushing them away just so that they don't come into view. That's going to be fun for me to clean up afterwards. To the front. Basic. Oh god. Move the half pack then. Starly. Otrel again. Oh, Crocorot. We're not really seeing anything new uh, at this point. Even though it is a pretty big set. Uh, Chansey. So nothing ready from here other than this Bit Ops. Bit Ops EX. This is just like the basic EX. So this is not like the cool EX. Like that's the EX at home and the the cool full art EX thing is the EX from the shop that your parents don't know you get because it's too expensive. And then the EX that you get when you're twenty something and you have your have a job and you get paid. This is the uh old school EX. The room clutch, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Vivalon Dachsboon. <laughs> I do like that. Dachshund from the Fido. I like that name. And it looks delicious. Big pastry fan. Love French pastries. Oh, Torco. Penny. First time we've seen that, I believe. Pokeball and another starter. So that's the Quackaval. 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 Probably uh, an interesting Pokemon, but we need to get through this a little bit faster. Here go. So pack number 30 almost, I think. It does take a while to open, and to be honest, you should definitely enjoy it more and take your time more than I'm doing. I normally do take my time, but I do happen to have something I need to be doing straight after this. Hopefully I can get to doing that, the better for sure. Propius, Viper, Viper, and another Cloth. 
on to the next one we are wasting zero time right now it's hit or nothing basically we don't care about those hollow you might have lied to us well not lied to us you might have told us oh yeah you know you're getting a hollow in every pack but we don't care about that we want those ex Bovet, chunk of debt Pavilion, this is another new one, and I think this is so random. It's obviously just like a pepper plant, chili pepper plant, but I think it's cool. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a dinosaur thing. Chili pepper dinosaur, prelim. Uh, reverse hollow, poor mot, standout reverse hollow, and then another Miraidon. I think that's the second one. Oh god, take everything apart. Go so again. It's have dried up a little bit, similar to the entire first half of the box. But we move. Oh, last the last few packs are gonna salvage everything for us. Chancy, Rockalo, another one of the starters. That looks dopey as hell. With the weird like lamp, the lamp heads. Uh, Floor Jess, that's a nice art. Very colorful. Mark. Angus reverse. Oh, no way! We got the Gardevoir EX in the reverse slot. Now, definitely one of the cards I wanted from the set. This is absolutely sick. Number 245. Gardevoir just chilling at home. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I imagine the other two, the, um, the Ralts and the earlier and stuff we'll probably present the rest of the story no double banger here but who gives a loss when you've got this body of white ex and look at that the shine to it gorgeous gorgeous that's a hit how's it looking corners corners little bit little bit dull on that corner corners are a struggle uh slightly off center too Slides slightly thicker than the other. Who gives a damn? Got the God of White EX. Yeah, That's pretty much made the box. To be honest, so anything we get now is basically a bonus. But I ain't gonna say no. I ain't saying no. But let's see. Also, I believe every single code card is like black. God, I need to stop. Uh, every single code card is black now, so it's not like you're giving anything away or getting any spoilers chunk probably another reason why they could just be like hollow uh killer watcher error cross crocodile oh out of here energy switch rare candy and another bizarre though i think this art is a little different what do we have left one two three four five six seven eight nine Nine packs left. Core of the box still. That's kind of amazing. It feels like I've been opening up for ages. Okay, one to the front. Basic energy, rare candy, Fico, Dene, Pineco, Vivalon, Dachspoon, the delicious dog, uh, Tatsugiri, that's more delicious sushi fish. Ooh, Armor Rouge. This looks wicked. This looks like a Yu Gi Oh! A Yu-Gi-Oh monster, not a Pokemon card. Uh, Pokemon, even. And uh, another poor mod. Seen enough of him. That's for sure. Look at that God of War. Lovely stuff. Lovely. Sorry, I just keep staring at it. Eight to go. See if we can get another awesome full art EX. That would really, really seal the deal. Basic energy. Croc Rock. Manky. Perhaps a kid, what's in that? Uh, I don't know, I like it. It's just different, isn't it? This is not different. Uh, that sucks. Uh, Rocky Helmet. It's just different. I appreciate just the kind of thought that goes into being like, let's just do something ridiculous. And um, I don't know, I like it. it kind of hits me in the right spot. Not like that. Um, okay, let's go more after this being a fun box to open as you've seen there's a decent number of hit i mean too far was complaining the whole time but if we ignore that 
Um, I've, you know, I've had fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's got Lillian, Torkoal, Breloom, First Hollow, Vivalon, Pokemon Catcher, lots. Of oh, and a Coridon EX Full Art 231 with the bike thing. I, I, I don't get the bike thing just because I've not played the game. I know you can ride them. But what the hell? Why is it a bike? If my auntie had wheels, she would be a bike. Like why? Why does? Why is it a bike? I don't I don't know. Uh, awesome! Two awesome hits. Happy, super duper happy with those. I can't remember the last time I opened a booster box and got this many hits. So. You know, you people opening this, this up, this up. I think they're really, really going to enjoy it, and I hope a lot of people are going to be brought into it because of that. It's like, oh, get a Scarlet and Violet box, you'll get some awesome stuff. Begins the entire Pokemon TCG journey. Okay, now it's definitely coming into view. Let me get rid of that. Old school. Ooh, I'm a boss stiff. Um, interesting. Doggo. Miriam. Spiritum, Cobra Reverse, Go Goat, and a Magnazone EX. Completely forgot Magnazone is in the set. Five to go. No Gyarados, no Arcanine. It's a bit of a shame, but we got the God of War. So we are up. We are doing well. We are eating tonight. Eating good tonight. Disk Energy, Bebe, Growlithe, Staravia, what was the camp there? Staravia, Watchroll, Credent, Grucadal, Grievard, EXP, oh, another Skeledurge. Man, come on. Come on, that's awesome. Come on, you know it. You know it. You know that's a sick Pokemon. I don't need to tell you. Right. Four to go. We are less than a handful. Less than a handful. Less than finger count. No one ever says that. Uh, Chansey, Rare Candy, Bido, Dene, B Max. Apparently, look at the size of that damn thing. I mean, actually, those are flowers. I don't know. It looks like massive. Bathra. Bathra. Something Spanish. Something, something Spanish. Ooh, and then a Tarantula. This is the one where you've got the Scyther at the top, right? Picture. I like that. Would have preferred the Scyther, but... Oh, we get the... Oh, it's the regular. I saw Arcanine and I got so excited, but it's the regular Arcanine EX. Still awesome. Awesome. Double hit. Uh, double hit pack. Lots of friggin' hits, actually, yeah. Well, by the end, we're doing really, really well. Three packs to go. We've got like 10 hits. Ralts. And the most. I think we just got really shafted in the first half, right? Flamingo, I'm glad I've opened the entire box. And then I just did the first half and was like, oh, well, I've opened enough. Thank you for watching me pull two hollows. Nylape. But we didn't. We moved. This is why we got rewarded. Body why X. That at the front. Ainko didn't know that was in here. Another four. Oko, Drowsy, don't think we've seen that. Crack turn to Mesagoza. Mesagoza. Daragotha. Uh, Drift Blim. King Gambit reverse. Brailium reverse. And an Arboliva. What on earth are you? Final, final pack. Legendary hit no. Wait, no. So we've got the Coridon at the front of the pack. Let's hope we've got something awesome inside too. Last final pack for me. Molive the Olive. Wiglet. I don't know what on earth that is. Machif again with the what the hair. Man's got a mohawk. Dog's got a mohawk. Spirit Tomb. First Heart of Stone Jonah. So let's see if we get anything. No, we don't. Drowsy. And final, 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 final hit of the box. 
let's see if we get anything. And it's an armor root. It looks wicked, but it is just a regular hollow. So there we go. We're done for Scarlet and Violet base. And look what we have by the end. Show off some of the best hits we got. There's another one behind there. Best hits from the box. Definitely that qualifier. Awesome, awesome hit. And it's been a very successful, I think, by the end uh, opening. So super, super duper happy with that. And I hope if you are still listening, you really did enjoy the video and enjoy me opening up the box. Certainly stay tuned for more videos, opening discussions, all that kind of stuff. And again, if you like the video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to do so. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.